Ositema sub county in Busia district sits on huge amounts of gold but has little to show for it. We set out on a dusty dark road to Sianyonga village where we found a community whose livelihood largely depends on gold mining. We met some of the miners and explored the places where they usually get the ore before filtering it and later taking it for gold extraction. Mining has been the livelihood of both men and women here for generations. But the precious stones haven't transformed the lives of the locals, going by the sad faces that we came across. <laughs> there are those who buy from us and they take to Kampala at a cheaper price. Mm. Uh, so, in case we get a, a good market, huh, we can do away with this um, buyers who do buy from us. Uh. These people go through huge risks to search for gold. It is a, the surface itself. Uh, when it cracks, it can get a person down there and it hits him. Mm, so it will, it, will, it, will, it will bring a problem of people even losing their lives. Busia district officials confirm the dangers that these people face when they are in the line of duty. Uh, small scale miners practice this open cast method of mining, extracting just without any scientific method of identifying where the minerals are. You can uh, one like this. Mm. We can make. Some international organizations have set up a training program to equip locals with skills of transforming the crude gold into shiny jewelry to enable them get bigger profits and avoid exploitation. <laughs> Other metals such as silver and copper are also added to enrich it. It is the next way and they have their job and the chance to got more money and so on to have a better life in the future. You know, people have been coming and buying gold from us in a cheap way. And I've, we have seen it can make something more. But even with the newly acquired knowledge of adding value to gold, locals are faced with a huge risk of being buried alive in the underground mines. Authorities from an international NGO called the Earthbeat Foundation have provided the artisan miners of, of Busitema with helmets, reflectors and headlights to protect them from injuries. We want to uh, plant a culture of people appreciating their own safety and the need to protect themselves as they enter the pits and all that because mining is extremely dangerous and harmful. Uh, in terms of uh, accident levels being high. We are concentrating now on this mine to see what we can do together with the people but of course we are um, then longing for more mines to come. <laughs> with everything in place we head out to enter the largest mine in Sianyonga village. According to some of the residents this mine is over 70 years old and was discovered by some white settlers before Uganda got its independence. A gram of gold costs about 75,000 shillings and the miners, in order to keep their lives going, they need to get at least 10 grams every month. Now, what they usually do is to come down in these pits that, uh, for instance, this pit is now 25 feet long and they always have to come here with all the dangers that they're most likely or would possibly face. I'm Suhel Mugabe, NTV, Sianyonja Village, Busia District.